Hello students, welcome to Rise of Talent. Students, I am your maths faculty, Arpita Sharma. We have gone through so many chapters and now it's time to study what? Circles. Colorful circles, isn't it? Okay, so now you are thinking that uh, we have studied in our 9th class also. Now we are studying it in our 10th class also. What is the use of studying circle again and again? Students, if you look around yourself, okay, you are using motorcycles, bicycles, cars, okay. So, in that you are having the tire and your tires what? Is a shape of circle. Okay, you uh, somehow sit in stadium and if you are interested in cricket, so the shape of that uh, stadium, right, is in circle or uh, if you talk about the machineries, the part of machineries are in circle, right. Okay, so these are in circles. Now, if these are in circles, what you have to do, you, ha uh, you have to find out the area thing and the circumference thing okay we will talk about these terminologies later in this session uh, actually but the point is this that why we need to study circle it's simple it's because in our day-to-day -day life many of things we are using are in the shape of circle okay so it's it's very necessary, it's a basic requirement to study circle and properties of circle so that if we go in the higher classes and will come to these subjects, then we will know the basics at least. Okay, so we are introduced with circle in our 9th and 10th standard. Okay, students, so talking about circles, first we will understand that what parameters, what are the standards of circle? Right, what is a circle first, second, what we use as a terminology when we talk about circle, what terms we used in circle, okay, then related properties, then theorems and then the area and all the things, the, I know uh, I was talking about sub circumference and I will talking about some code and all that thing. So, let us start, terms related to a circle. In this particular uh, segment, we will talk about center of circle, circumference of circle, non-intersecting line, okay, tangent, secant, code, diameter, minor arc, major arc, sector and segment, okay, students. So, let us start with center. Now, what is a center? Okay, so you are having a point here just a point here in the center of the circle. So, you will call this as the center of your circle. Now, it is very easy. Okay. Now, what I am telling you that if I am having, uh, let us suppose a thread. I am having a thread. Okay. And I, uh, I tied some stone over it. Okay. Now, I am rotating it like this right imagining okay now if i'm rotating like this or after some time i just you know uh, kept my kept my hand like this only now what the string will move eventually so this is the center this is the center of which this string or the thread is moving and drawing this what circle so the distance from this hand where i have you know uh, I have take this thread is the same, this is the same and the stone, the pebble or stone is moving in this particular shape. Now, you can able to imagine what I am trying to say. Okay. So, this is what we call the center, center where I am, you know, having that in uh, that thread in my hand. Okay. So, if I am having this thread, white color thread and some uh, beautiful marble I have, you know, tied it. Now, I am rotating it and it will be rotating in like this. So, this, this center actually is the center and it is basically center of the 
circle students. Right? This is your center and this is your circle, the path followed by that pebble. So, circle is basically a path. Okay. Line is also a, a path. Okay. So, in this particular path, the center point is, um, uh, center point is here. And from this center point, if we, if we move in a particular distance, this distance will not be changed and will move. So, we will move like this only and this path will form the circle. Okay. And how many points I am having on the circle? I can have a point here, a point here, 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 here and everywhere. So, Infinite number of points on the circle, right students? Okay. So, this is about the center of our circle. Now, let us move circumference. Circumference is what? I had what? That thread. Okay. Now, I am just putting it here like this. So, thread will be like that only. So, what I am doing, I am having this circle and I am cutting it from here. Okay. Now, after cutting it, I am making it straight like this. So, this total length, so this total length is what? Circumference. Okay, students, this is circumference. Okay. Now, how will use it? What is the use of, you know, letting us know that what is the circumference? What is the use? Or can I understand it a better way? Okay. Here, you are all having bicycles or motorbikes. Okay. Now, we are having a tire on this. Right. If I assume this as center, this is center, right. And this is what we call circle, right? So, in circle, this is what? My circumference, circumference of circle. This is the outer side and this is the inner side. So, basically the boundary line which segregate this you know, outer side and inner side is what? A circumference. Now, if I put a mark on the tire on the tire and i somehow you know slide it not slide but i just you know i just make my cycle move now the cycle move, uh, will move and this point i uh, sorry this point i marked it here now this point will be rotating with this this will come here 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 and again there so at a particular time the rotation in this side, so at the particular time, this point P will occur again at the same position. So, the distance covered, so the distance covered by this is what? The actually the circumference. Okay, and if you take uh, this as unity, unity means the uh, let us suppose 1 centimeter circle. Okay or 1 meter circle. So, what you observed? The radius, the radius that means distance from this center to the circumference. Okay, let us keep it 1. Then we find, find out that this particular distance is equals to what? 2 pi r, where r is what? Our radius, where r is what? radius of circle. Okay, students. So, you know the value of pi like 3.14. Okay. So, this is about the what? Circumference of circle. Right. Now, what next? Non-intersecting line. It's just that I have drawn a line PQ, PQ line 
okay and with a circle i'm here i'm having here so i have drawn this line such that this line is not intersecting the circle in any way so what i will call it i will call it a non intersecting line now why i'm telling you it's a line separate it's a circle separate thing why i'm telling you i'm telling you because of this tangent if this line just touches the point a point here on the circumference then what we call it we call it as tangent students okay students so if i'm talking about tangent then it's what it's a line which is just passing through your circle okay students now the second from this to this if this line somehow you know intersect at two points in the circle i can say i can name it like a and b right this line is intersecting it okay at some two points a b now if it is second if it's a second it's a line okay but if it's a line segment it is called again i am having a tangent it just touches one point on the circle it will go known as tangent one second second if the tangent if the tangent shifts somehow inner to the circle such that it will not cut one point but two points in the circle name it a b m and whatever you want to then that is known as second your tangent became second here now know the difference right okay now about this tangent and second we are having chord now this second became chord when this second became chord when when this line became the line segment in that thing second in second i was having the line okay so i called it as second if there is a line segment that means there is nothing beyond this boundary of circle okay then i will call it as a chord right students so know the difference okay now the minor arc and the major arc if i am drawing a circle like this i am drawing the circle like this okay here now when i'm drawing the circle and there is a center okay i'll be having two points here right the point p and the point q here now if i look there will be two segment students look carefully there will be one when you go from this side to this side if you followed p to q there is two way this way and this way this way is shorter so this way is minor so i will call it as minor arc what will i call it minor arc okay now what if i'll choose the longer way if i'm choosing this way then this is major arc my students understood this minor arc and major arc understand this okay now can you tell me that at a particular point at a particular point these minor arc and major arc can be equal tell me when okay so we will going through this tangent second chord okay now if this chord if this chord comes here at the center like this 
Okay, this will be the longest cord. Look this, this is your circle. This is your inner circle here. Now for this circle, you are having this cord. Now you are having here a cord, here a cord also, also here, also here and also here. Now look carefully, I will be concluding with this, this cord. Okay, this is with the center. Now talking about the upside, I will go like this and then some cord here. Now see this, that this, this one which is passing through the diameter this code. So, the code which is basically the diameter the largest one largest code is what? Diameter you can say it by this figure because if you are going with the upside codes you will see that these all codes are shorter than this. Again if you are going downwards these are again shorter than this particular. So, this particular chord which is the longest chord is known as what diameter. Now, do we have only one diameter? The length of diameter can be one but we can draw infinite diameter in a circle. Mark this. How? Like this is one. Now, I am drawing the diameter again. This is my center. Now, can I have this as my diameter till here only, okay. Now, can I have this as diameter? 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 So, there are infinite, there are infinite number of diameter in a circle. So, in a circle, when you talk about a circle, and if you are having a center in it, any line passing through the center and meeting and, and intersecting the circumference is what? The diameter. So, you can have infinite number of diameter. Let us suppose that this is the point where they are intersecting. Okay. So, clear about this. Now, coming to the chord section, coming to the minor arc and measure arc. coming to the minor arc and major arc. Okay, this was, there was two points. From these two points, I was having an arc, this, the circular path is arc. Okay, so I was having the shorter and the longer path and we have discussed about minor arc and the major arc. Now, I was telling you there could be a what? A 50-50 between this minor arc and major arc actually because when I will talk about this, these two points like P dash and Q dash in the circle. Okay, so when I will talk about this and this point, these are two points. Now, this path will be equals to this, uh, this part because this diameter is dividing the circle in symmetry in two parts, symmetrical part. So, this part will be equals to this part. So, the major arc and minor arc in this particular case will be what? Equal. Okay. So, understood about that. Okay. This is our minor arc and major arc. Now, sector. Okay. Now, is this picture familiar with you? Eating pizzas these days or not? Right. Students, if you are eating pizza, so you can just tell your friend to give a sector from his or her pizza. Okay, what is sector is you can look at this. This is let us suppose this is particular uh, in a particular shape of what circle proper circle and we are having this as a center. Now from this circumference this is a circumference we are having two points and we are having this what radius. So, this particular portion will be known as what sector. Okay. So, here 
when it comes to in our you know mathematical circle this circle is here let's suppose this is our circle okay and this is our what center let's call it o now i'm having two points a point and b point so what i will do i will meet them okay now this portion is what this is sector we are having two things dear students sectors like this you have i have told you like in this particular picture this is sector now we are having one more terminology sector and you call it segment so what what now why i am i have inserted a picture of pizza here because you can you know remind yourself then you are taking a sector from pizza so that will be what your sector and the other thing is segment which is what if i am having again these two a and b now these point will not be having any thing any relation with this what center i'll have a line uh, meeting point a to b now this this is what this is a segment so if pizza is a sector and the remaining is a segment so you can you know clearly uh, remember it in your head that this is a sector sector means pizza sector and this is a segment okay now i can say uh, uh, in that previous one i have divided it as, uh, it as a major and minor arc so i can easily divide it like what this can be what my major sector right i'll call it like this only and this what i was eating is my minor sector right okay so this is a major sector this is my minor sector something like this we can name it like uh, any we can also name it okay how i can name it like minor segment the minor one and the major segment now you can e easily tell me that ma'am if you will put this line here you will draw a diameter here okay then these segments will be equal so major segment will be equals to minor segment isn't it okay so now you clearly understand about the sector and the segment and the difference between them you won't be forget that okay because if you have given the question and you asked about uh, something to prove about the sector and you misunderstood it with segment so then the whole question will be wrong so understand these terminologies first okay second you have understand tangent you have understand code you have understand segments and sectors you have understand okay so note this student i have told you about what the circumference of what circle which was what 2 pi r right students okay i'm having the circle i'm having the triangle this is 2 pi r this base is 2 pi r and this height is r now what will i do i will just simply take the area of this triangle area of this triangle that will be half into base into height and in this case that will be half multiplied by base multiplied by height so what will i get pi r square i am telling you this is the same pi r square you known as the what your your area of right circle 
your area of circle is this. Now I am relating it with a triangle. Why? Because what we have drawn is a beautiful circle, right? Okay, so I am having here is center. Okay, now let us suppose I will have something for you like this. So, I will be having this as another circle and this as another circle and this as another circle then this as another circle again okay then again then again why I am drawing this again and again because I have to tell you that this circle is composed of infinite number of what circles embedded in it okay so what is the point then if this is having something like this, what is the point? A circle inside a circle inside a circle will give you what? I am just telling you the area thing here. Okay. So, what I did? I just cut it from there. Now, when I cut that from here, it will be like this. What? This particular string will be like this. Then the next one will be like this, this will be the shorter one. So, if I will be taking the infinite numbers, it will ultimately produce a triangle, right or wrong, right. So, now what? So, the first one, I am only talking about the first one, if I take this radius if I take this radius as what as r so I have told you this will be what the first circumference will be 2 pi r okay the first circumference will be 2 pi r now this this width will be what this is what radius so radius will be only r here okay so this will be what this will be r. Now, I have created a triangle by breaking down the circle and I have just find out the formula. So, the area of this triangle will be equals to what area of this circle because I have made this triangle just with all the things I am getting with this circle. Okay. So, area of this triangle will be equals to what area of this circle. So, circumference of circle is 2 pi r and area of circle is equals to pi r square. Now, note this. Okay. Students, this is your introductory section of this coming chapter circle. Okay. So, I have just made you familiar, make you familiar with this uh, terminology so that you can understand in a very better way when we will talk next in our next session. Okay, students, till then watch it again and have a wonderful time. Thank you.